Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. Okay, you guys, this is gonna be a Bolo category video, and I am gonna talk to you about vintage shoes. <laughs> um, I'm not a big shoe seller. I do pick them up from time to time, but I don't like to clean shoes. Um, so I usually steer clear of them, but I know there is so much money to be made with them, and there's lots of YouTubers that talk about shoes. Um, I'm just gonna pull up some of the ones that I found on eBay. Most of these I did verify um, by going into the feedback. So uh, these are good sales that were paid for. And this will just give you guys a better idea of what to look for. And I kind of did this category because I'm not super knowledgeable in this category and I like to learn. So I'm just going to share with you what I learned. Um, I do know about some of these brands. I do know that some of them are Bolo brands and I am familiar with some of them but some of them also surprised me. So we're just gonna dig right in. And we are gonna start by pulling up the screen share. And we're gonna go with the first pair here. Now, these are a pair of vintage 90s white, it says swear platform boot shoes. Very damaged, you guys. Um, so these are little kids shoes, I guess. Look at them. I mean, they're beat up. They're little trainer shoes, you guys. What do you think about this? Would you have listed them? Would you have thrown them in the trash? Would you have donated them? Would you have walked right past them? Let me know in the comments what you think about these little trainer shoes. They don't, they look big there. Are they kids shoes? I am so confused right now. Huh. Let me see here what it says. Um, plat I, I have long loved these shoes, but the platform height was too tall for me. Okay, so maybe it looks like they're a women's size seven and a half. Okay, I thought they were kids trainer shoes. Like little kids shoes. <laughs> Don't they look really small in the first picture? Oh my goodness. So they are adult shoes, which is still very odd that they even sold. Um, but yeah, somebody bought these for $32 plus shipping. I did verify that it was a good sale. So they got feedback and everything. The next item, um, this was uh, a pair of Doc Martens. All right, you guys, vintage Doc Martens are definitely something you should be on the lookout for. Um, they do range from bread and butter to big money. Um, but they usually do pretty well. Uh, if you guys, I used to wear Doc Martens in high school. So it's so funny to me. I think, um, I think I sold a lot of mine on eBay actually when I was finished with them and they were like well-worn and still sold. Uh, these sold for $76 and uh, with 14 bids and the buyer paid shipping. So Doc Martens, definitely a Bolo item. Okay. These are Justin boots. You guys, Justin boots can be huge money. These are pre-owned boots and they still sold for $532 plus shipping. There's the tag on the inside and that's what the bottom look like. Now with boots, you do have to kind of look at the wear because depending on how people walk, they can have um, wear in certain areas. Uh, they will still sell with that wear. I have sold some boots that have been in like not great condition and they have still sold um, I've sold some Harley that way. And then um, I think I sold some, I think it's Tony Llama, if I remember. Or, yeah, I think that's what they were called. I don't know. I don't specialize in shoes, you guys, but I do pick them up from time to time. But um, these Justins were definitely a bolo. Here's another pair of Justins that sold for $300. Um, you guys, these are alligator belly. Uh, so super, super fancy. Again, there's your tag. Uh, there's probably, I think a style number in there that you can probably look up to look up comps. So don't overpay, make sure you do your research, but, um, definitely a good item to, to look for cowboys, cowboy boots in general, you know, cowgirl boots. These are Dan post and they're snake skin and they sold for $76. And even if they're worn, they will still sell, but, um, the better they look on, you know, the wear, the more even the wear, the better. The next item are these antique pair of child's leather shoes. These sold for $53. Um, I could not verify this sale, but I will tell you that I have sold these in the past. 
I have sold them in way worse condition for, than these and for more money than these. I have also sold a single shoe. Yes, I said a single baby shoe that looked like this, only it was black, but it was one shoe and it still sold, you guys. Um, people use these on baby dolls and people collect them. So if you can, if you ever find the boots with the buttons up the side like this, I do know they sell. So they do range bread and butter to big money. The next item, oh my goodness, you guys. These are vintage 1980s Nike high top leather shoes made in Japan. They sold for $86. Look how worn they are. And if I remember correctly, this is the one that the feedback said that they were in great condition. I'm like, what am I missing here? Like, I don't understand. Like, someone please explain to me why these went for $86. Because I don't get it. Okay. The next item that sold are these vintage new old stock 1970s Speary Top Sider shoes. These are a canvas boat shoe. Um, Speary's tend to, tend to do decent, but these are from the 1970s and they're new old stock. They went for $114.50 plus shipping. The next item, again, like what on earth? The, these are 1970s Converse The Winter Shoes. You guys, these sold for $81. It says worn and worn loved. I mean, that's just gross. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I just don't think I would even want to put my foot in that. I don't know if I'd want those in my house. Wow. I mean, those are a mess. I mean, I, I, I'm so confused. $81 for these. Does anybody understand it? I mean, are these that rare that somebody wants them when they're like falling apart? Um, one thing that you can do with shoes to make sure they're not going to fall apart on the buyer is you take them and you hold them and you twist them. And if they have dry rot, they will crack. You can also, I learned this from Donatella Bottolino, is scrape your nail across it. And if they have dry rot or if they're in bad condition, it will, um, it'll flake off and peel. Um, and then you'll know that they are not good. So shout out to Donatella Bottolino. Go check out her YouTube channel. She's got great tips. Um, okay. This is my other channel, you guys, Reseller Testing Products. I am almost to 800 subscribers. I'm trying really hard to get over to 1K subscribers. So I would appreciate it so much if you guys could go and subscribe to this channel. Um, I will have it linked down in the description of the video. I do have reseller content on this channel, but I also do a lot of testing products. So probably don't need to hit the bell because sometimes I list five or six things on this channel a day that I'm testing to list and put those items in my eBay store. And I attach a video to the description of my eBay listing to show the item works. So um, I do have like, this is reseller motivation station. And this is where I talk about newly listed items to help you guys learn. I have a list perfectly how to video. Um, I have some parted it out videos. I part out a caribou set. Uh, it's a game. And there's a couple other things over there that I've parted out. There's three videos there. And I also have um, just other, other things over there. So definitely check out that channel. Again, if you guys could subscribe, watch some videos, I would greatly appreciate it. I'm trying to get that channel monetized. And most of my channel um, videos are shorts. So it's going to take a, um, a lot of views. So go watch. Have a, have a good day watching it. Um, throw it on while you work or something. Um, but yeah, if you can help me get to 1K, that would be fantastic. Thank you guys so much. All right. The next item are these Avia, I think is how you pronounce it. A-V-I-A. -I, I didn't know that this brand was a Bolo brand for vintage shoes, but apparently it is. These sold for $204. Um, they are saying that they are new with defects. So um, I do see some yellowing on them. Maybe that's what they're talking about but they're saying new with defects. So the next item are these vintage Salvatore Ferragamo, uh, Ferragamo. I don't know how to say that, but anyway, I tried. Um, these are a small size. They're a size six. Um, I, my experience with shoes is size five and a half and size six, even six and a half are a really tough size to sell. Um, these ended up selling for $70. So proof that they do sell, but just harder to sell. 
Um, the next item that sold is this vintage alligator Nettleton men's dress shoes. So you guys, anytime you can find like alligator or snake or any of those rare, hard to find, um, I don't know what you call it, uh, ma material, not material, um, shoes, we'll just call, sh call them shoes made out of those things. Uh, definitely give them a look up. These sold for $299.99 with free shipping. The next item is these vintage 2006 Nike Air Jordan retro crib shoes. Look how cute they are. They sold for $56 plus shipping. And I'm guessing that, yeah, they're just, they look to be new old stock, but they're pre-owned. But I guess they just probably weren't worn much. The next item is these vintage rare 1970s Nike orange suede shoes made in Japan. These sold for auction $515, you guys, plus shipping. So I guess made in Japan is, you know, great for shoes also. So definitely look for that on the tag of vintage items. These I could not verify, but I just had to share them. These are antique wedding shoes, uh, display, silk French, Victorian boots. Look at these things, you guys. <laughs> they sold for $207.50. Pretty fun, right? The next item that sold are these vintage blue Converse Jack Purcell shoes, size nine, need repair. So they definitely need some new shoelaces. Um, you guys, Jack Purcell shoes are definitely a bolo item. These sold for $560 with 23 bids and the buyer paid shipping. And you can see on the back, they're pretty, pretty bad condition, really. So pretty amazing. The next item are these early vintage 80s Converse All-Star Camo High Top, Camo High Top tennis shoes. These sold on auction for $82 plus shipping. And they even say Rufus on the inside. So nice little bolo right there. The next item that sold is these uh, vintage V cleat floor shime imperial long wing gunboat Kenmore nail shoes. I don't know what that means. Um, are they cleats? Let's see. No, they're just shoes. Oh, nail, maybe because they have nails. Those look like nails. Uh, but anyway, they sold for $135 plus shipping. The next item that sold are these vintage Adidas 1970s Superstar sneakers made in France. And these went for $311.82, you guys. How amazing is that? You'll never look at shoes the same way, right? 1986 Nike Mac Attack Vintage John McEnroe men's size nine and a half. These are shoes. I mean, look at them. They're not even in great condition and they sold for $2,550. You guys get out of town. Wow. I would have walked right past them. How about you? Let me know in the comments. The next item are these Nike vin uh, vintage from the nineties Air Sabra flight. Uh, these are new with the original box and they're from the 80s and here they are and they sold for $165.50. So the pair that's in not great condition sold for $2,000 and these sold for $165 and they're in great condition. So it really depends on the style and how popular the style is, how many were made. Um, shoe people that collect, they know what to look for. Me, I have no idea. The next item that sold are these vintage Nike Jordan Sky High sample original basketball shoes. You guys, these sold for $909. I have no idea how to know if something is a sample original. If anybody knows, please share with us in the comments. And I'm guessing a lot of people are going to go down and check the comments for feedback on this video. So any tips or tricks you guys know, please feel free to post there. The next item are these Doc Martin boots. Again, these are the big tall ones and these sold for $114.28 plus shipping. And the last item are these rare men's vintage vans. 
These are like skateboarding shoes and these sold for $103.50. Again, pre-owned shoes. Uh, I mean, I just imagine some of these shoes just smell like feet. I mean, sometimes you just can't get that smell out, right? Oh my. So what do you guys think? Um, I, I think if you go to the thrift store and you're looking at shoes, like before you purchase them for your smell, for your smell, for yourself, you can give them like the smell test, you know, but on eBay, like you don't know what they smell like before you're getting them. I mean, you could be getting some stinky shoes that, and some of those shoes, they just look really stinky. I'm sorry. Um, based on the condition, those had been stinky and worn. And I've heard there's people out there that like stinky shoes, but not this girl. I'm not putting on somebody's stinky shoes. All right, you guys, let's see. How about in the comments, you put some sort of emoji of a shoe or a boot or something like that. And let me know in the comments what you thought about this video. Um, I am putting this on my Sourcing with Bolo Buddies YouTube channel. So if you like this type of content, head over to my main Bolo Buddies channel. I have tons of Bolo category videos over there. I have Christmas, I have Made in Japan, Thanksgiving, things found in the garage, things found in the bathroom, keys and locks, um, let's see, toddler dresses, vintage, I think, coats, vintage clothing. Um, there are so many bolo categories. And that's basically where I pick a category and then I just do a dip, dig. a deep dive into a category and I research it. Um, I just did one on vintage plush and I just did one on Build-A-Bear, the top 10 Build-A-Bear to be on the lookout for. There's also one on vintage, not vintage, on stamps, um, like the wood mounted stamps, uh, rubber mounted wood stamps. There's three, three big ones to look for. And I talk about those in the video. I also have one on Boyd's Bears. There's a particular Boyd's Bear that's trending right now that is going for a ton of money. Um, if you can find those bears, you're going to make some money. So check out that video. Um, I'm off on a tangent right now. Oh, snapback hats. This is not a snapback hat, but it made me think of it. Uh, Halloween, vintage Halloween. Christmas. Did I say Christmas? Valentine's Day. There's so many, you guys. So many. There's a playlist. It's called Bolo Category Videos. Go check it out. Just hit play. And you can play all if you want. All right, you guys. Thank oh, toys. Toys. There might be a couple of toys. All right, you guys. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share.